Hi, welcome to Epic Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Market Appetite Search Tool within the Epic system. If you have a commercial account, whether it's new business or a renewal, and you're not quite sure what carrier you're appointed with, write that type of business, you can click on this little Appetite icon on the toolbar in Epic, found on the home base or on your locate screen and type in either the class code, the NAICS code, the SIC code, or if you don't know the SIC code, you can type in the description of the business that you're looking to quote. So I'm looking for a chiropractic office, and I'm interest, interested in seeing what carriers are interested in writing this line of business. Uh, choose the products that I'm interested in quoting. Um, eight of them are, will be checked for you. If you're interested in also looking for management liability, those are in here as well. And then choose where your client is doing business. What states are they operating their business out of? If they're just operating in Illinois, check Illinois. If they're operating in multiple states, you can check them. Or in all states, you can check them as well. Next, click the Search button. And voila. Previously, I have set up my appointed market. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. All of my appointed markets will be coming up first. So they, this is an industry-wide search. So carriers that I'm not appointed with are going to also show up in the market appetite search to let you know in the industry who's actually writing this class of business. Now I want to see which one of my carriers is interested in writing this class of business or this SIC code. And you'll have these little guides here. The thumbs up is in appetite and for the line of business that they're actually interested in. Thumbs down, out of appetite. Historical appetite means the underwriters, they've written this SIC code within the past, um, not necessarily meaning that they'll write it particularly now. So you always want to check with your underwriters as well. No information means the carrier didn't send in any information back or always give some feedback on the market appetite search of what you would like to see. Is this, this market appetite tool is evolving. I work closely with the fine, brilliant gentleman that de designed this program, and we're also looking for your feedback. So that would be great to feed, give them your feedback, what you'd like to see. Within this search, State Auto comes up with a thumbs up. Not only that, but they have view notes. You want to view the additional notes that are in here, and their own particular appetite restrictions or limitations will appear as well, which I think is an invaluable tool. If you have another type of risk, say you have a concrete contractor, any type of risk you have, whether it's new business or renewal, just basically type in the description and click on it. If you're typing in or starting a new search and you can't find the particular class of business that you're looking for, and again, this is strictly commercial lines, you can indicate can't find industry and email Ivan. If you type a description in here that you cannot find or not comfortable with, you can click on can't find industry. And again, give your feedback to Ivan. Let them know what industry you're looking for and they're continuing to add those descriptions within this market appetite search, which is fantastic. So again, if you're looking to appoint your carriers after doing a search, say you're looking for a plumbing contractor, who writes plumbing contractors or what lines of business for Illinois, and click on search, your carriers, again, that you're appointed with are going to come up first in the search. Again, all this is an industry-wide, so even carriers and MGAs that you're not appointed with will appear as well. So you'll always have that option to see who's actually writing this line of business in the industry. But you want your appointed carriers to show up first. And let me show you how to do that. You first click on the appointed markets at the top here. Click on all markets. And just search out the carriers that you know you have a direct code with or a subcode with through ESNOA. When you see that carrier come up, click on the star where it says appointed. 
and click on Mark as Appointed. And that's it. That's how easy it is to show your carriers that you're appointed with. Ivan's has also added a nice feature here called Market Insights. This is going to give you the market insights industry-wide again as to premium renewal rate changes in the trend for that for the past six months. The index renewal rate change distribution within the last month. It's going to give you industry-wide for that particular code that you're searching where those rates are for each class of business. So if you notice, each class of business will change these graphs that you choose up, that you choose. You can see if the rates are industry-wide going up, going down. You can kind of give a little insight to your clients, your current clients, to say, yeah, you're within the industry rate changes. This is what's happening within the industry. Or if they want to know about where their rates are going to be come their renewal. And that's how you use the market appetite search in Epic for additional help with commercial lines or any EPIC training tips, please feel free to visit our website at asnoa.webex.com and you will get live training with either myself or Laura. Thank you for joining today and have a wonderful day.